Chapter 10, Mishnah 6. This Mishnah now deals with matters unrelated to the malacha of transferring. It begins by discussing some prohibitions that apply to personal grooming. We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. If one removes his fingernails by pulling at one with the other, or by biting them with his teeth, or if one removes his hair, i.e. the hair of his head, or the hair of his mustache, or the hair of his beard by plucking it out with his hand, or if a woman braids her hair, paints her eyes, or parts her hair, Rebbe Eliezer rules that the person is liable for performing a biblically prohibited malacha. Removing fingernails and hair are toldos of shearing. Braiding and parting one's hair are toldos of building. And painting one's eyes is a tolda of writing. However, the sages rule that these actions are prohibited only by rabbinic decree. This is because removing a fingernail or hair with one's hand or mouth is unusual. Braiding and parting one's hair are not biblical forms of building, and painting an eye is not a biblical form of writing. Nevertheless, all these actions are rabbinically forbidden. The Mishnah discusses an aspect of malacha of excuse me. The Mishnah discusses an aspect of the malacha of reaping. One who plucks a plant from a pot that has a hole in it is liable for reaping, because the plant absorbs nourishment from the ground beneath it through the hole which suffices for it to be considered attached to the ground. Since it is attached to the ground, plucking it is an act of reaping. But one who plucks a plant from a pot that does not have a hole in it is exempt, because the plant was not attached to the ground when he plucked it. However, Rabbi Shimon rules that one who plucks a plant from a pot is exempt both in this case, where the pot has a hole, and in that case, where it does not have a hole. According to Rabbi Shimon, a plant in any type of pot is not biblically recognized as attached to the ground.